Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing my birthday nails, and I've got my Nail Teaks Formula 2 already on all of my nails. And um, I will be adding an, another coat of this to this pointer finger. I'm having some kind of issue. I don't know what's going on with it. So, But anyway, I'm doing my birthday nails today, and today I'm going to be using these two Zodiac plates from CC and Sissy. Um, this is Zodiac CX18012, Hello Cotton, and Zodiac CX18011. So, I've got a bunch of stampers out, and um, I'm going to be making a couple of, like, reverse stamping. I'll be using, of course, China Glaze Ruby Pumps. And I'll also be using Beauty Big Bang 001. So let me get everything together and we're going to get started. Alrighty, before I get all too crazy off into this, um, I'm going to do some straight stamping. I'm going to do some advanced stamping or reverse stamping. I am going to make um, a couple of decals for my accent nails, which are going to be my ring fingers and my thumb finger nails. And then I'm just going to stamp on the rest of them. I will be using as my base color today this floss gloss. I use it almost every year, I think. And this one's called Moon Baby. So it's kind of like a gray color with a tinge of green maybe to it. So um, as soon as I get my advanced stamping going um, and get them off to dry, we will hop on into that part of the manicure. So let's just get going. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing here today. I'm, I'm just kind of winging it. I, I, don't, I didn't have like anything exactly set in stone that I wanted to do. So let's just see what we can come up with. That one's pretty cute. And I'll fill it in with some um, ruby pumps. And I think I'm going to try this one over here too. I want to use a lot of these images because I've been kind of saving this plate all year just for this. Yeah, I think that one will look good with some ruby pumps too. So let's see what's next. Oh, they're sticking to the plate, I mean the holder, but that's kind of why I like this one. i tell you what, we'll just go ahead and do this one here too. We'll see how that looks, if there's going to be any room for filling it in. Maybe not, maybe a little bit. Oh, that's so cute. That is so stinking cute. Alright, one more. Uh, okay. I've got to turn this one around. I think I'm going to go for this image here. It's like the crab reaching for the moon. And there we go. So I'm going to get this cleaned up and we're going to do some filling in on some colors. Alrighty, I got me a little dab of some ruby pumps out here and I'm just going to use a dotting tool and try to be carefully add in some of this color to the little claw crabs and the shell of the crab. I'm not going to go too crazy on it today. I'm just trying to add, add the colors. Just fill them in just a little bit. Okay, let's flip it over. Looking pretty cute. Go. Which side was that? This side. I'm going to go out just a little bit further on this corner to make it look more like the other side. So there we go. That one's done. This one I'm just going to fill in the moon. My moon is going to be blue and red. Because it's my birthday. It can be whatever color I want it to be, right? And Cotton's in here jingling with me. <laughs> That's cute. All right, and then this one. Let me clean off my dotting tool. You do sometimes want to clean, plus you cotton, you want to clean your dotting tool off on a paper towel or something because they get kind of goopy, and then you just start dragging. And you don't want to be dragging when you're doing this. So there we go. Get kind of quiet when I, that's why I do a lot of voiceovers is because like when I'm actually doing it, I end up forgetting to talk. <laughs> so a lot of times the voiceovers save me. Because when I'm focused on that, that's what I'm focused on. But when I'm focused on playing, I'm playing, y'all. I'm just playing. What a cute image. Alright, let's flip 
tipping over. Oh, that's so cute. And now this one didn't really have like any real open, open space. So, but to make it work, I need some more Reba pumps. Some fresh. So to make it work, I'm going to just kind of go around this outer edge here. Just to kind of tie it in. Just tie it in a little bit. So, I know that normally you would think I would, and I normally do use moons um, along with my birthday manicure because I am moon baby. And it's because, you know, the moon landing and all, but today I'm doing all crabs and stuff uh, pretty much, I think, because we're going to go eat crabs for birthday. <laughs> So there we go. Ooh, make a mess. So there we go. I'm going to let those dry and now I'm going to get into painting my nails with the base color. Alrighty, sorry if you can hear my air dryer going in the back. It's drying my decals. But we're going to go ahead and go in with the first coat of Moon Baby from Floss Gloss. And I can tell you that this one has just an awful formula. And in my opinion, a polish that costs as much as Floss Gloss should not have this bad of a formula. Um, <laughs> I do love this color and on you know as I get into the coats it might take two or three but you know it will even out and get better looking as we go but that first coat is janky and that's probably another reason why I only break this one out once a year. So there we go we got our first coat of that on. I'm going to have a visit from Woody real quick. Try to get up here by that cuticle. Oh, alrighty. So there we go with our first coat. I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to come back and do a second coat. Okay, I am back and I am doing the second coat of Moon Baby from Floss Gloss. And I'm making a mess. But the second coat is kind of filling it in. I might not do a third coat. I really don't want to do a third coat. Um, so fingers crossed that this works. It's a little streaky, a little goopy, a little, little bit of a mess, but um, I'm hoping that it'll kind of even out and, you know, especially with the top coat, maybe it'll behave. That's what I'm hoping for. And hi Woody, how you doing? He's such a good helper. So there is the second coat of Moon Baby. I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning up and, um, and then we're going to top coat. Alrighty, I am back and I am going to top this with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. And I want to tell y'all how silly I am. This one actually needed another coat of color because I had added the Nail Teaks another coat, layer of that so it was behind everything else. And I forgot. I've done top coated it. <laughs> Crazy girl. So here we go with our top coat right now. Oh, got kind of a blob going on. But it does seem to be filling this in and smoothing it out. Not making it look near as funky as it did. And I'm going to cap my free edge, huh? Just like that. There we go. Okay, so now I have to let this completely dry down so that I can do the rest of my stamping and my um, advanced stamping decals. So I'm going to let these dry and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back and I'm going to add some of this Pro FX Sticky Base. I've already done it to my other three accent nails. <laughs> and uh, we're going to add some to this one. Doing just kind of a thin coat of it. Just to make that stuff stick. So there we go. We have that on. And I'm going to reposition the camera a little bit so we can apply these decals. Alrighty, so here we go. I'm going to add this first one that looks like he's grabbing the moon. The crab grabbing the moon. That one's on that thumb. Very cute. And I'm going to add this one to my other thumb. <laughs> he almost looks like a ladybug crab. <laughs> Alrighty, and then this one's gonna go on my ring finger on this hand. These are transferred pretty well. 
tried to loose his legs on that one. But anyhow, okay, and then this last one, which is really, really cute, is going to go over here. And there we go. So we got them on. All right, I'm going to clean up and get ready to do some just straight up stamp. Okay, this is why I don't like doing straight recording. Okay, so I stamped this image right there, and then I stamped the 69 image over top of it using Ruby Pumps and that same Beauty Big Bang 001 polish that I was using. We're going to do some more double stamping, I believe. I think I'm just going to go crazy with it. I'm still using that Ruby Pumps. And I'm going to do just... Whatever clever comes up. Oh, I think that's cute. And I am cleaning this off on my lint roller to get any of that bird's bees off in case that part got cut out. I want to throw that out there. And let me see what other image am I going to use. Oh, I like this one. That's, that's, that's the next one, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Like I said, I'm trying to use all of these images, and, or not maybe all of them, but as many of them as I can get away with, because I want to see all these images. So there we go, gotta throw that on there. I know it looks a little 4th of July, doesn't it? But it's not, it's birthday. It's birthday. Alrighty, so... Alright, so I'm going to use this image over here, and I do need the plate to move because I need some spot on my mat to catch the extra polish. And I know I'm all over the place here. I'm just willy nilly in and, um, you know, doing this nail, that nail, this hand, that hand. But it's just how it goes when I'm playing sometimes. So. I think I'm going to use this little bitty crab one here. That's cute. That is cute. I was really excited to be doing my birthday mani. I almost did it this weekend, but I was like, well, my birthday's not until Friday, so I really, really don't want to be... Well, I didn't think my manicure would last all week, is what I'm saying. So, um... In any case, that's what we, we decided to do. i tell you what, we will use this little moon image over here. Um, I didn't think it would last from Sunday to Friday because of how I changed my nail polish, so I decided I would wait until later in the week. Well, <laughs> now my birthday's tomorrow, and I don't have a birthday mani on. Okay, let's see. I'm going to do this one over here. Very cute. Very cute. And I don't know what I've got on the stamper, but I've got like some kind of skin or something on it. Okay, so we've got that one. I might just leave it to be. And then let's see. I'm do that one. That one's really cute too. Okay, who am I kidding? I like all of them. That is so stinking cute. Oh, adorable. Do that in blue. I wonder what it would look like with the red over the top of it. Let's just clean it off and see. Let's see how that goes. Oh, that's just adorable. Okay, and then try to line this up. Wow, I lined it almost like spot on dead on. I can see that red peeking, flashing out of it. Okay, so let's see. We got one more pinky to do. And I'm going to do these little stars over here with something over top of it. Like I said, I'm playing, y'all. go and now I gotta find my little crab to put on it. One of my favorite images on this plate 
is this crab right here. I just love it, but he's kind of big. So I think I'm going to stick with this one right here. That one. <laughs> Take your eye off the plate and you forget where you were looking. Story of my life. All right, we've got quite a mess going on here. Maybe I can save it. So, I want to thank everybody that wished me a happy birthday on one of my other videos. Oh, it was when I did, that's not going to work. It was when I did my birthday unboxing present from Sister Chic, Miss Debbie. Um, I just, I've been so busy that I haven't had time to comment to very much here lately. I do try to hop in there and comment, but, you know, it's just gotten crazy here with work and running around and life, so uh, I just want to thank everybody out in the open right now for wishing me a happy birthday. Thank you so much. And there we go. We got stuff on all of them. So I'm going to clean up this mess and I'll be right. Alrighty, I am back and I'm going to add some fast and hard quick dry top coat to this last nail and this one will be done. So I hope you enjoyed this one. You know, I always, always, always love hearing from you whether you like it or not. <laughs> um, as far as my manicure goes, I do love hearing from you all. I love hearing suggestions and, you know, just chatting and all that good stuff. So that is my left hand, including that thumb. And then here's my right hand. So there we go. And then the thumb here. So, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. And that is it for today. So until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.